What is going on guys, Maddie Box Gaming here with another 5M tutorial video today. So today we're going to kind of go over how to install EUP. Now this can be very tricky. I know that I had multiple problems. So we're just going to kind of take a look over this today, go through a quick rundown about how to install this. So there's three moving parts to installing EUP to the 5M server. Um, the first part is this native UI for 5M and pretty much with this you're just going to go to GitHub here. You're going to download this native UI and that is going to go into your that goes into your resources folder here. So here I am uh, on my FS, FX server. We go to server data. We go to resources and right there you can see native UI is dropped in there. So pretty much what that does is that's what's going to run your menu. So native UI is what kind of gives you that display, gives you that feel of what EUP should look like and how it functions essentially. So the next thing we're going to do is minimize this and then we're going to download this EUP 3.6 and then it's actually update 8.1 um, I will drop this link in the description because if as you look on 5m's website uh, sorry wrong tab you can see there are multiple multiple versions and some have been taken down and so this is the one I've actually found as of today on July 4th that functions the best with the menu that they currently have released on 5M's website. So I'll post that in the description so you guys have it. So pretty much you're going to download that and really that can go anywhere in your server's resources folder. I have mine dropped into system just because I like to try to organize my stuff a little bit better. But you'll open that up and in that file there under downloads, as you can see the EUP stream file. So you'll copy that EUP stream file and that is what is going to go into your resources folder. So you're gonna drop that into your resources folder here. And uh, essentially in here, you know, you can see you have all your uniforms. Uh, you have your resources.lua file, which is blank, um, that it should be correct. And so essentially that's what you will do. Um, and then the next step, the third moving part to this is obviously we have native UI, which controls the interface, essentially what the menu looks like. Uh, we have the packs now, which we just installed here, as you can see. So the third moving part to this is the actual menu. So you're going to download this, and in this, you're going to see um, the EUP-UI. And so you'll copy this folder and go back to your resources folder within your server, and like I said, you can place this anywhere in your resources folder. I personally put mine in systems just because I like to organize mine a little better. So you'll drop this into your EUP UI, or sorry, your resources folder here, anywhere in the resources folder as long as you can access it. So once you've done that, um, keep in mind you do have to pay a $15 subscription to 5M to be able to stream uniforms. That was one of my big things that I did not realize when I did this. So I kept going, why isn't this working? I can't get it to run. I uh, kept trying to treat, stream uniforms and it just wouldn't work. So one of the big things you have to do is you have to pay $15 and I can drop that link in as well. Um, so that way you can locate that. So after you've done that, you want to be sure you go into your server and you locate that EUP file. So like I said, it's under systems on mine and you're going to want to, so when you, when you originally add it, you'll see that the file is not started. So you'll want to start that resource on here. And then the final thing you want to do before you go into your server is you're going to want to go into your artifacts, or sorry, your resources, and find that resources CFG. And as you can see, I've already added in here, start EUP UI, start EUP stream, and also that start native UI. That ensures that all three of those resources will start, so that way you can see what's going on, and you can see that 
the um, resources will start and ensure they start with every restart that you power. Alright guys, once you load in here, you can see that we are in 5M now. So to enable the UP menu, you're just going to go type, uh, hit the letter T on your keyboard to bring up your chat. Type in E, UP, and see we have that menu that's popped up right there. And you can see we got different selections. Once you paid that $15 a month to 5M, you can see that it enables this. We can now stream our uniforms. Um, all of these should pretty much be set. Uh, you should be able to have clothing with all of them. Uh, however, there are still a handful that you'll go through and you'll notice that uh, a skin might be missing or something like that. And really that's just kind of messing with that stream folder and uh, kind of adjusting those textures. Uh, that's all I got for today, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or you can hit me up on Discord, uh, Bob Evans. And then the hashtag 0526. Uh, I hope you guys have a great evening and thanks for watching.